Yeah, how are you today? You're welcome to my Tonitin demonstration class. So let us do a walkthrough of how you add students to your class as instructors. So I'm already in my home page. I have logged in to my Tonitin profile. I'm an instructor and I have various classes here. So for the purpose of this clip, let us add students to my class research work. That's the name of my class with the ID 1355565507. That is my class and the ID. So the first thing we need to do is to enter the class. And we do that by clicking on the class. So I'm clicking on research work. I'm right there inside the class and few things are here that I can use to uh, manage my students. So you can perform some operations on students because you are inside the class. Now let's look at the tab. We have assignment, we have student, we have libraries, calendar and so on. So I want to perform operation on student and the operation is I'm adding student to my class. So I'll click on that tab, student. Oh yeah, so in this class, I have a number of students already added, but I'm showing you how to add, you know, a student to your class or to your classes. So I have this tab, I can add students, just watch my cursor. I can upload student list. I can send email to all students. That is, I can compose a mail and send to my student. I can give them notification. The mail goes to all of them. At the same time, I can also send mail to an individual student by clicking on the email in front of your name. If you click on the email in front of any student's name, the email sent or your compose will go to that particular student. But when you want to send mail to every member of the class, of your class, all you need to do is to click on email or student, you compose your mail, it goes to all of them. Today, our emphasis is not on sending email, but adding student to the class. Let's assume you are fresh, you don't have any students in your class, you click on add student if you are adding them one by one. And let me just demonstrate that before you we upload. I show you how to upload student list. Now, I click on hard students, and you just simply put their name, first name. In this case, case let me just add a name. Soj is the first name, and the last name maybe is Adisa. Then the email of the student is. Let me enter the email. Gmail.com. You just then you click on submit. Oh, I am adding a student that is already um, uh, enrolled in my class. This student has enrolled in my class. So a student with this email address has already been enrolled in this class. So I will not be able to use this. Let me see another email that can be used. Um, which email do I have that can be used? Okay. Okay, so I click on submit. Good. So with this, the email goes to the students, the welcome email with information to set up. If you want to know how to set up, just watch my video on setting up uh, my your Tonitin profile. The video was released some time ago. So just watch that. The email has gone from Tonitin to that email address and the owner of the email address, we just need to click on setup, follow, you know, uh, 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 the instructions, then you will be able to get in into the uh, Estonian 
or uh, 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 Tonitin home. Now, that is how to add a student as individual. Now, how do we add, upload a list of students? Definitely that will be productive, that will be effective. You have a student, I mean, you have a class of 50, 60, 100 students. All you just need to do is to ask your student to prepare um, a document. Um, I prefer using Excel. You can also use Microsoft Word. I prefer Excel. So the first column will be first name. The second column will be um, uh, uh, last name, which is surname. And the last, the third column will be email addresses of the student. If that is done, you can add 1,000 students in a minute by just uploading their list. So for the purpose of this class, let's demonstrate that. I have a file that I want to use now. So I will click on upload students. Then I will look for my file. I want to choose the file. The file is on my desktop. So I go to my desktop. Then the name of the file that I've prepared for the purpose of demonstrating this is T student. So I click on it. I just have two names on it, but you can have 100 names, 1,000 names. It depends on the number of your class. So I click and I'm having the class. OK, so the, class, the name is there. Then I will upload the list. So these are the two names that I have on the file. And when I click on Yes, Submit, the two students will be added. Don't forget, if you have 100 students, you have it this way. And immediately you click on submit, then they will be added. So the two has been added. You can see that you don't need to have student one after the other. And you don't even need to type or key in the name of the student. It can just be given to you, maybe by the student, by the class governor or student representative, and it will be submitted. But there, I need to call your attention to, this is my file and that I used. That were, I mean, the, 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 the file that was uploaded. Now, it will work when you don't need, you don't have Syria, you know, column, and you don't have headings. If you had headings, you know what happened? It's going to use whatever the content of your heading actually, again, to create another account. Anyway, there will be a problem because your heading will not be, be an email. The, the parts, uh, the other, the, the last part will not be an email. And if you put the serial number there, it's going to take the first column as the what? As your first name. So the file must be prepared like this. No adding, no serial column. <clears throat> so let's get back to where we're coming from. So with this, you already have the student added. Email goes to an individual and they'll be able to set up their account. So thank you for watching my video today. I want to advise you, you can subscribe to the channel so that you can get other digital tools, not just on Tonity, but digital tools that will aid you in your work as a researcher, as a lecturer, as student, even as professional. Thank you, goodbye.